Hey guys, it's your boy Anthony, and I'm here to show you guys how to use full sequence in Clip Studio Paint. The latest version of Clip Studio is the only one you'll be able to use post sequence in. And the post sequence that they offer you was basically two in general. Right? You will not be able to reanimate them or anything like that, which is a shame. But you'll be able to use them for animation. You can't make them into what you want them to be, but you can use them to do animation. You understand? Moving on. Let's not waste time yet. First thing first, while you're in Clip Studio, you want to come here to your side where you have all your materials. As you can see my cursor, you want to click that open, the little arrow to the top, right hand corner you see it hope you can you know see it all right i'll zoom that up so you see I, you can't see i'm blinding you so right here you will see 3d you want to click on 3d and inside of here this is what will come these two here is what will come in clips to your 3.1 Point zero. All right. You have to download these. In order to download them, you have to grab one. Yes, I can get a three pro any three D material and drop it within the timeline here. Well, within the timeline here. Basically, you don't drop it any timeline. You just drop it on the surface here. What it says. You see, it didn't come up here. All right. Reason for that is because you didn't activate it on the first frame. So you want to go on the first frame here, you want to right click, and you want to hit it, back flip, right. I will show it again, so you know, you can see I again understand, right click, come up here, click the back flip one, this is the 3D object here. I don't need this one here. One of the backflip. So you choose an angle by clicking and grabbing where you want to start the backflip. This is the backflip one, and the other one is a run cycle one. This one have more frames than the other one that you're going to download. You understand? You have to make sure you have. Clips, you have a Clip Studio account, so you can download them above the Clip Studio store, right? So, as you can see here, there's a backflip one. In order to see this, you have to go into the, the sequence. In order to go into the sequence of this, you want to go here. If you want to see the animation sequence, you have to go down here. Adjust body shape and size. So when I click this little icon underneath here, this is basically the settings for it. Without this post sequence inside of here, you're not going to see post sequence in general. You're not going to see it at all. Right? Moving on. So inside of here now, post sequence, you're going to click post sequence. And here, right here, which I will zoom up for you guys. I'm going to bring it out. That's what you're going to see. You see it here on one? The micro says right now, it's on one. If I click up, you see how it then it move. Click up. Bam. You have about 22 frames. So 22 of these frames here is the post sequence. In order to animate this onto your animation, well, to the timeline here, you have to see like each of them. So this is the first frame here. And with my settings that I have, which I made a video for, I'm going to go to the second frame. 
So I'm going to go to frame tree because I'm going to be doing this on tools. And I'm going to click one, which I have set for, you know, adding a keyframe. So adding a new frame, new frame, not keyframe, new frame. And I'm going to come here. While this is open, this is how you're animating it. So I'm going to go to two. Go to the tree again. Bam, hit that again. Go to tree. Alright, go to nine here. Go to twelve here. Uh, hit. Alright, so we're back here. Four. Five, six, seven, and that's all basically what you're doing when you're going forward. So this is just a quick tutorial in showing you guys, because I don't want to waste you guys' time. I know everybody attention span very short these days, so just like mine too, so I want to go through all that. All right, so, so far, that we have, right? That's what we have right there. Once you play it, that's what you see. Not the full animation, but I'll show you guys a snippet on how to animate with it. Okay, so if you guys like what you see and you want more, please like and subscribe and, you know, follow for more. Let us for now. You guys stay safe wherever you are in the world. You guys rock. Thanks for clicking on this video. I am out.